powers of attorney. They're the most important documents because, you know, as you, you, you know, sadly might have seen over the last couple of years, uh, Kate Garraway was a presenter on Good Morning Britain. Sadly, her husband, through, uh, through the COVID period, went into a coma and there's been all sorts of issues. I think uh, there was, she made a fantastic documentary that won a BAFTA. Uh, and it really sort of brought home. It was very sad for that family what they had to go through. But because of her position in society and, and, and media, uh, it told people that, you know, even people like us, you know, probably well informed, got advisors. Uh, we struggled with it all because you didn't have a power attorney in place. You you can't make decisions for your partner, for your husband, wife, you know, whatever. So, so that's what a power attorney is. It's, it's making a yeah. decision for your spouse or for someone else. Basically. It is. It's, it's a document that says, you know, whilst I'm fit and well, I know who I would trust to run my affairs and make decisions in my best interest, you know, in my family generally. And, uh, and that document goes through a court, which is the Office of the Public Guardian, and, and it ratifies that... Th- you made this while you're fitting well. You decide it's going to be this person or you're going to have a backup reserve attorney and they will basically step in to run your affairs for you, whether that's paying bills, uh, running businesses, and that's why you need a business power of attorney, uh, or your health and welfare, because there are two documents. One is for health and welfare. So uh, that's just as important as the financial one, but people lean on the financial one a bit because they understand the pain of not a bill being paid or something, you know. And you know what it's like now. You go on and try and change, talk to someone about changing their mobile phone contract or, yeah. or, or the gas, and, and it's, it's crazy because they'll say, sorry, we can't deal with you. Yeah, so imagine when that person is totally incapacitated. They've lost their mental capacity or, or they're just so unwell, they're in hospital and they can't deal with anything. Mm. So they're, they're important documents, you know. And we urge all clients. We actually ask clients to sign a disclaimer on that now. Okay. What? To say that you've... We told you about it. it. It's yeah. really important. I know you're here for your will and all the rest of it, but that's very, very important. Just, um, just being really morbid here, but if someone's in a coma, would that same person also be the person who would make the decision around whether the, the machine gets switched off or not? That's correct. It would yeah. be okay. And there is a question in there on the health and welfare power of attorney that says, is, is the decision to be made by your attorney... Or attorneys, or is it to be made by the medical team, basically? And, uh, and and people make that choice, and people usually feel quite strongly about it, one way or the other, you know. And there's no right or wrong answer, is it? It's just you're giving that authority to someone. Uh, and there's there's pros and cons with both of those decisions, yeah. uh, but it's down to the individual to to make their mind up, you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but it's yeah, I know. See, but this is the, this is the subject. I love it. This is great. Do, do you know what? Yeah, I'm, we, I'm learning. <laughs> okay. yeah. that's, that's why I'm quiet, mate. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, it's great. For once you've shut me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but that is a first, isn't it? Yeah, it is How long have I known you? And that's like, <laughs> it's a fucking so first, mate. It's, uh, it's one of those things as well. I think, you know, we don't want to be making these decisions or helping people make decisions when it's late in the day, you know? So when someone's been diagnosed with a uh, life-limiting illness or terminal illness, uh, or as we've done sometimes, we you know we visit St Luke's and see people who are not well. That's not the time to be doing it. And we we deal with it with as much empathy and care as we can because I believe part of our DNA DNA is kindness in our firm, and that's what makes us different. And we don't want to be having those conversations at that point. Don't leave it till then. Let's just get the blooming thing done. You know, yeah. it it takes an hour of your time. You know, we've all got all these hours every week, and I know we're all busy living you know balanced or trying to live balanced lives. But this is important. Get it done. Stop looking what the next mobile phone is you're going to buy. Stop looking at the Sky packages. You know? uh, stop worrying about all those things, you know, because they're, they're not life affecting, really, are they? I mean, you might have a better mobile phone, but yeah. just put a document in place or documents that help your family. Because we all care for it, you know, our own, and we all love them, and, uh, and yet we leave this wide open. That's what I was going to say. I, I think a lot of people just... Oh, we'll do it another time. Like I always think that when, when we talk about something like I think, well, I'm 33, like I'll, I'll do it another time. And speaking to family members and I say to them about their wills and about stuff like this and, and they'll go, oh yeah, I'll get around to it. I'll get around to it. And, you, and yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. And that's it. And they never seem to just get off their ass yeah. really and do I it. It's and just, I think it seems to be human nature though, doesn't yeah. it? And then maybe it's just how busy we are these days. I don't know. Maybe a four yeah. day a week would help, huh? Do you know, maybe <laughs> there's, a, there's an idea there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but I think we've talked about it already with fitness and health. It's yeah. like people wait till they're sick before they actually fucking do anything. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's just, it's mad, isn't it? It is crazy. But it is what it is. 